I'm Graham Stokes and today I'm going to be unboxing an electronic battery tester. Now this has been sent to me by the nice people at Ring so that I can actually review it. I do need to point out that I'm not being paid by Ring and also I haven't paid for this component itself. So it comes in a plastic case with a cardboard sleeve around the outside. The instructions on the front says it's a professional machine and it's suitable for enhanced flooded batteries and AGM for stop start. On the side of the box it states that the test method is load free, it's microprocessor controlled. It, battery types are lead acid, AGM and enhanced flooded batteries. It has a graphic LCD with backlight. The cold cranking amps ranges are between 40 and 60 for the low range and 100 and 2000 for the high range. There are programmable battery standards which include the SAE, SAE DIN, EN1, EN2, IEC, JIS and CAEMCA. It will do a battery test, alternator test, diode ripple test, starter test, earth test. You can download and print the data but it also has its own integrated printer. So the first thing to say is that when I got this the other day um, I thought I'd store it safely out of the way, but if you're like me and you like to store your diagnostic equipment in a tool cabinet, the actual box and the casing is actually too tall to fit most of the drawers. So it does cause a problem there. So let's carry on and take the cardboard sleeve off of this. So it's in the hard plastic case, it has a ring on the front there, so hopefully we know which way up the case goes. Two slide across clips inside. And when we open it up, it contains an instruction manual. We have the lower half of the case here with the unit itself, with its integrated printer, a spare printer roll, and the leads. And in the top here, we have a USB lead a small CD and what looks like a quick reference guide for the batteries showing you how to go through and do your tests. Let's clip this back together. So if I take the unit out of the box, let's just move the box out of the way for a minute. So, this is the unit I've been sent. Like I said, it has its own integrated printer, and actually, it looks like there is a test print being left inside there. So, that's the sort of thing that we're going to get the test print. And it does look fairly easy in that it gives you OK, 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 and crosses next to the problems. Clip the lid shut. Uh, I am going to need a power source. So, just bought an old car battery that I can plug it onto. And rather than taking the tape leads off at the moment, I'm just going to clip it on so that we can power this up and I can show you what it actually does. So, when we power it up, it comes up with a start screen that says ring, and we have several buttons on the front. We have a USB connector here, which I take it takes us to the software on a computer. We have a print button. It looks like we have a back button. We have up, down, left and right, and an enter button on the middle. Uh, it looks as if it's menu driven. We have side to side and left and right. So if I press the down, I can work through different things. Up does the same. And then we have left and right. So, if I go to the diagnosis section, click on that, we can choose whether we want car or motorcycle. Let's go for a quick battery test just to see what it does, because it looks like we've got an engine cranking test, we have a alternator test, we have a starter motor test. So let's go OK. And it's going to ask us what type of battery, so it's a normal wet lead acid battery. It wants to know this uh, CAA, the 
cold crank lamps, whether it's SAE or DIN or EN. This one here is an EN, the cold crank lamps are 350. So let's come down to EN. Uh, we have EN 350. going to ask me what the temperature is in here so we are above zero degrees Celsius and what it says on the screen here is that we have 12.57 volts the EN is 196 the internal resistance is 12.61 milliohms giving me a 34% charge which has come up as bad so there's the tester Thank you for watching this unboxing video. If you've enjoyed it, uh, why not check out my website at grahamstokes.com or have a look at some of my articles that are normally published in Garage Wire magazine. Thank you.